Hey folks, it's Chef Jay, and this is Late to Plate with the host with no French toast. I'm pretty hungry. You are hungry. Do I'm hungry. Are too. we having French toast? Well, we're cooking with fish. How can we don't make like French actually, toast fish yeah, sandwiches? Actually, why don't we do a French toast? Why don't we do a, a breakfast fish dish with French toast? Yeah. I'd like a French toast fish sandwich. Yeah. Why don't we do that? We'll do an episode. How about we do one episode right dedicated to breakfast? But not today. All fish. No, not today. But what about the jacket today? I like the court jester appeal. All you need is like one of those hats, you know, with little things coming off the side of your head. Yeah. Like a dunce cap, I think they call it. Oh, a dunce cap. So I'm the dunce cap chef. So you've hey, never worn a dunce hey, cap remember before this? This thing's got some meaning. I know, uh, remember? No. You remember, you don't no. remember. Hey, you know who we haven't talked to in a while? And uh, I think we should probably wake them up a little bit. Uh, uh, who's that right there? Oh, we got Lucy out front hanging Lucy out with the produce. Lucy out front hanging out with the produce. Lucy, how you doing? It's been a while. And uh, Leonidas up here always taking care of the fridge. But uh, more importantly and most gotta importantly... We got to go to the star. We got to go to the star. Hey, Lucy, how you doing? It's been like... Uh, it's been a long time, Lucy. It's pretty quiet today. Why? I, I don't know. He was. He's in the dark. He's in the. Is he snoozing? He wake him up. Snoozing. Hey, Moosey, Moosey, you awake? Hey, Moosey, we're doing yellow perch today on Lake to Plate, uh, and you know a lot of people don't like yellow perch for what's the reason why they don't like yellow? perch? I'm not really sure. Yellow perch is delicious. It's absolutely delicious down in southern Ontario. That's all they really do, right? And they catch minnows. And yeah, yeah minnows out here in northwestern Ontario, we catch big, big. Yellow perch, don't we? Trophy size. Yeah, down on the south end of Lake of the Woods, they're coming up there, beautiful. Like, look at those fillets. These fillets are absolutely like you, beautiful. Eh? If you didn't know better, you might think they're walleye. Are they walleye? Ah, uh, they're not. They are the Five finest percent. of yellow perch. This is yellow perch, beautiful fillets. Uh, you can do all kinds of things with yellow perch. Yellow perch is uh, part of the walleye family. Yeah, they're similar. Uh, they're like cousins. They're like cousins of the walleye family, which is very interesting. A lot of people have uh, a bad conception. Conception, is that the word? Uh, I don't know. You know, a uh, bad feeling. Yeah, it's yeah. conception the same and, thing? Uh, I'm thinking of the word. I'll, it'll come to me later. Yeah, so anyways, Moosey, you know what that word is? Still silent. Nah, it's still quiet. He, 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 you, you know what the problem was? Is he slept too? Uh, he, well, maybe. Well, he was up too late with a lady moosey last <laughs> night. <laughs> Flo Capone. Anyways, uh, people have the misconception, there you and go. I think that's the word yeah, misconception, the right? So the misconception with yellow perch because they are sometimes full of worms or have cysts in them. Is that Depends correct? Depends on the time of year. Time of year. Water's but, warm. That's right. So it's only certain lakes that they actually have that happening. That can happen anywhere. It depends on the temperature of the water well, I, and what they're eating. I don't, I, like, honestly, I haven't seen any worms in any of our perch. No, I never see them. No, me neither. So it's just one of those misconceptions and stigma that's wrapped around freshwater fish, inland lakes, right? It's the stigma that comes around, and that's why I like the plates here and Chef Jay and uh, Tornado behind the camera to teach you folks all about the underutilized, undervalued, unappreciated species in our lakes that don't get a chance. Because all we really do is talk about walleye or pickerel. And, you know, I, I, you know, I love walleye and I love pickerel, but our whole job in life is at Lake to Plate to really pump out the other fish, right? And that's so why we're today, talking about perch. Today we're talking about perch, and today we're going to do a phenomenal recipe because I just thought about it right now. So here's my question, Chef. Uh, what are we cooking? Well, I don't Are we going to disagree cooking. about the name of it? Don't know what we're cooking, but we got blue gloves today. Oh. Add, add to the color, eh? Blue gloves uh, go along with the court jester, uh, Jackito. But uh, to be completely honest, I haven't even thought of a recipe. This is how we roll on like the plate. And uh, so one take, no recipe. We don't. What we did is we went to the fridge. We pulled out what we have, and that is what we have, right? That we went to the garden, not today. Fridge? So we went to the garden, pulled out of the garden, put it in the fridge. Oh, is that a, a lemon we found in the garden? That lemon came from the finest garden outside. A, a local Kenora lemon. So uh, we we have an acorn squash. We have a potato. We have some crushed tomatoes. Uh, we have some cherry tomatoes, we have some peppers, we have a zucchini, we have a red onion, uh, we have some garlic, we got some scallions, we got some cilantro. So what I think, I, I think, this, I'm just going to throw this out to you and you can, you can take it however you want to take it. 
Why don't we do, and this is just right off the top of my head, folks, right off the top of my head, I haven't even thought about this. Have I thought about this? No. How about we make a uh, acorn potato hash oh, so stewed shred. in crushed tomatoes topped with pan-fried perch with cherry tomatoes, peppers, zucchini, red onion, mushrooms with a cilantro cream sauce. Well, let's see it. That kind of sounded a little over the top. Uh, it seems a little ridiculous. Little, I don't know if everyone's making top, that at home. But that's what we do here, right? Okay, so uh, what you got to do is get your finest rock and walk. Walk and wall. Although our walk's looking a little uh, that's less. That's okay. We're uh, the, the whole thing. The about, budget's a little tight on walks. The whole thing about uh, Lake to Plate is we uh, use what we have, right? Okay, so uh, what you want to do, folks, is get a potato. Any kind of potato doesn't really matter. And Press an acorn it. squash. These things are in season right now. Acorn squash. I love this time of year, Torn, because it's all about the... Uh, I feel like you say that every time of year. Well, I do. Not the winter, however. So, however, we could keep these seeds. Do you want to roast them? Have a little uh, seed party? Well, we could. Maybe we could put them back in the garden grow mm. some more acorn squashes. Some acorn squashes. And... Uh, what we need is, uh, so actually you can, you can actually keep these, right? Uh, we are not going to. We're not going to keep them, no, not today. But they are just as good as uh, pumpkin seeds. Mm. And they're really good if you uh, roast them in the oven with uh, salt, pepper, garlic. Are they as good as lemon seeds? Oh, lemon seeds. You were telling me about that yesterday. Yeah. Well, have you actually done that? I, I may have. <laughs> so you haven't. I, you know, it's, it's a concept I'm toying around with. <laughs> oh, oh. Is it kind of like the hot dog, Kurt? Yeah, <laughs> that and the throat wings. <laughs> We've all got a million dollar idea. Mine's lemon seeds. <laughs> Actually, you know what? That might be a good idea. Who no knows? one's doing it. The, uh, the throat wings, too, might be uh, a good idea. For folks down there in uh, southern Ontario, at a fishery we sent to. Send us up some trout wings. Okay, folks, you want to get some uh, butter in here? Oh, that's it. Look at that sizzle. A little sizzle going on. You want to throw some garlic. Torn, cut this up. Nice. Look, look how nice Look how nice you cut that up, eh? It's, ah, nice it's perfectly chopped. minced. Yeah, you did a great job. The Italians know how to cut up the garlic, okay? Eh? Never enough garlic in a dish. Never enough garlic. Okay, all you want to do, folks, keep the skin on. I'm all about the skin, right? Just a nice... For the skin is where the flavor is. Skin is where the flavor is, but also the skin is where the nutrients is. So we just do it, and I don't know why you don't think that this is a hash, because well, you buy hash no. browns. Okay, but hashes are shredded, so we're, you know, we're not going to agree with this. Okay, folks, uh, when this, uh, just, why, why don't you ask the public, all right? Are we going to do another poll? Because yeah. you lost the first one. No, I didn't. Yeah, you, you got slaughtered. You, the only vote was for yourself. No, it wasn't me that voted. Uh, well, that person was wrong as well. Okay, in. Sizzle, sizzle. Toss. That's why I love a walk. Yeah? It's good for the flippity flip. Flippity flop. Okay, next up, we want to do the uh, potato. Same thing. You know, the uh, thing about... Uh, Fall time and winter time, there's a lot of root vegetables. Right? Yeah, there's not much else, but a lot of roots. No, a lot of root vegetables. But there's nothing wrong with root vegetables. I like a nice potato. Yeah. Well, you can do so much with a potato, right? Eh? Is an onion a root vegetable? An onion a root vegetable? Yes. How would that be a root vegetable? I don't know, because it grows underground. I assume that would make well, it a root. I guess, I guess that would also make a carrot a root vegetable. I guess it could be. Is a carrot a root vegetable? I guess you know what we should do. Uh, throw some onion in there? Probably throw some onion in there. But uh, you said it was a hash, even though it's not a hash. It's like a stew thing. It's a hash! I agree with you, chef. Okay, in. Oh. Are you getting ballsy with that flip? Throw your back into it. Look at that, eh? Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so what we're going to do here, did you get that? No, you're no. moving too quick again. I thought we've talked about this. Oh, that's a beauty hash. There that's we go. That's a beautiful hash, eh? Okay, so what we want to do here, though, is we want to throw in some uh, salt and pepper. The last and pea. The last and pea. Here's a question for you. Is yep. it easier to take the entire wok over or maybe just take the salt and pepper over? I uh, know. Got to bring it all over. 
Okay, then what we're going to do is we're just going to let this fry for a bit, right? Also, we're going to add some, uh, what else are we going to put in there? I don't know. What do you got over there, Chef? Oh, uh, we've got to put a some little parsley. paprika. Oh, parsley's a good one. So put some parsley, and we've got some uh, paprika. Hey, I got my back turned to you. It's all about the back, eh? Put your back into it. Put your back into it. A little bit of paprika in there. And uh, one of my all-time faves, the secret spice here. A little barbecue style. Yeah. You know, nothing wrong with a little secret spice. I'm sure everybody's got a little secret spice in their kitchen. Right? I think they do. Look at that, just beautifully seasoned up. Nice squaw, acorn squash, onions, and potatoes. This is very easy, very simple to do. Boom, hash is on. Let that go, probably let it go for about uh, five or seven minutes, and we're gonna dump the tomatoes in. Gotta get them nice and soft, eh, Chef? Nice and soft. Okay, on to, look how beautiful this is. Okay, folks, what you wanna do next is get another fry pan, because it's all about the fry pans today. Set your heat up on number seven or eight. Lucky number seven. Hit it up with some more butter. Some more butter. Some more garlic. Can't go wrong with too much garlic. Never enough garlic in the world. So, uh... So we're going to do, uh, okay, so we'll do some peppers in there. We'll do some zucchini in there. We'll also do some uh, mushrooms in there. And I also got some red peppers here, and we also got some cherry tomatoes. Got a little bit of everything going on. Now look at the little spill going on here. Okay, so that's going on over there. So the same deal here, Torn. Nice and chunky. Ah, medium chunks, right? It's, uh, it's we don't want to dice. do a fine chop, but we want to do a nice, nice uh, dice-a-roo. Dice, dice, dice it up. Because this is just going to be the base for the fish, right? Yeah. So we're going to put the fish, after we saute this, we're going to put the fish down. And the fish is going to go on top of this. That's probably enough there. So a fair bit of pepper. Later date. Need a little more red. Get some color going here. Okay, throw those in. Take your mushrooms, same deal. Just cut them in half. As they wilt down in the uh, old pot of They'll wilt down, keep, keep the stems on, don't take the stems off. What if I don't like stems? If you don't like the stems, you can take them off. But don't take it off, folks, because then it isn't the real recipe. Don't just see the torrent. Oh. Oh. That's look coming that. together. Oh, look at that. That's a nice That's one. That's a beautiful hash one on there. Not a hash. Okay, whatever. <laughs> okay, then you take your zucchini, cut the ends off. There goes the tip, folks. There goes the tip, folks. Okay, you're going to keep that there. Same deal here. Cut this in half. This is a nice, chunky version of a... A stew? I don't, I don't know if I want to call it a stew. Okay. It's a recipe. in there. Okay, take your stew and tomatoes. Now this is a can of crushed? Yep. Or not crushed, uh, diced. Diced. What you're going to want to do here is take half of these because half of these are going into the other one too. And this is one can? One can. These are going in here. Tomatoes everywhere. Okay, give it a toss. 
Nice. Now what's going to happen is that's going to uh, stew away. Oh. What you want to do is get your finest stew away, eh? Lid. And what are we doing there? Just stewing. We're stewing. Almost We're like a stew. Steam so it cooks the potatoes, right? That's what we're doing. Make them nice and soft. Makes them nice and soft. Okay, so. We use these at the end. This is going here now. Well, that's beautiful too, eh? That's the base for the uh, fish. A oh, nice colorful base. Now what we want to do, take your perch. You don't even have to take the bones out, folks. There's bones down the middle of the perch. Look how beautiful that is. It's a nice what fillet. is wrong? Like, beautiful fillet. That is a beautiful fillet. You do not have to take that middle bone out like the walleye. You can if you want, but it's going to get stewed. It's going to get steamed. It's going to get just beautiful. Okay, what you want to do here? You just want to put these right on top. You're just going right on top. Beauty. Take a little more S&P. Top your fish. A little more pepper. What you're going to do now, move it over to here. You're going to create steam. Like a steam engine. Yes. Toot toot. So like the uh, like the Chinese, Chinese like their steamed fish, don't they? They do. They're big fans of a steamed fish, whole fish, however. Whole fish, however. Okay, so then what we need to do is get a, because this takes no time. This is going to take anywhere between uh, five to seven minutes steaming. Your hash is almost done. We're going to take that. That's going to be the base. Then what you're going to do is you're going to finish it up with some cream. You want 35% cream. Is that whipping into, cream? Yeah, we're going to make a, a sauce. So you see how fast this takes. I'm just going to show you. That has been a minute, right? See how the fish is starting to already turn white? Opaque. Right, it's starting to cook. That's all you want to do. Let that sit on there. It's going to create steam and it's going to cook your fish. So during that, we want to throw in some sauce. This 35% cream is going to cook it down. It's going to make it thick. All right, what should we use today? The uh, That's the bowl, is it? That's the bowl. While we're at it, we want to have some cilantro. Place up some cilantro. A little pruning today, is it? Pruning. Also, we want to take some of this lemon. Never have enough lemon. Over top of our fish. So we're going to move this over here. No seeds about it. Nope. This is how you do it, folks. You catch the seeds. You do this like this. See what I'm doing here? My hand's underneath here. I'm taking the juice, and the seeds are getting collected in my hand. Get what I mean? You think when most people cook at home, they wear gloves? Uh, I think so. Like, why wouldn't they? Okay, you're gonna want to take some more lemon juice, throw it in there. Beautiful. Do you think uh, a lot of people go through a lot of gloves too? Or? Yeah, yeah, I think everyone uses a box of gloves at dinner time. <laughs> okay, so what you're seeing here is your sauce is starting to boil, right? Your fish is starting to become opaque. It's starting to curl up. That's what you want to see. So what we want to do is slide that back over here. It smells good in here. We got a stew cooking. This is very simple, easy. This is very uh, comfort food, isn't it? It's hearty. Comfort. Sticks to comfort. your bones. Comfort. We like comfort, don't we? We like comfort over here at uh, Lake to Plate. Comfort is the way to go. What else do we like over here at Lake the Plate? Not having any utensils? Not having any utensils.
Here's what it looks like. It's absolutely beautiful. It's colorful. It is a it is a hash. I don't care what you say. That's a stew, but okay. How how is that a stew? How is that a hash? Here's one. We gotta try. It. See if it's. Oh. El Dante. Find a potato. Is that a hot chef? Mm hmm. Flavors off the hook though. Okay, so. Down we go. This is a nice fall dish. Using your root vegetables out of your garden if that's what you do. We do suggest to use your own vegetables, right? Because we're all about local. All about local. There it is. Your per Look at that perch. Yeah, yeah, perfectly cooked. Perfectly cooked. Nice, white, flaky. What we want to do now is just bring this down. So we're just going to let this go on high heat. We're going to get... Hmm. You know what I need? What's that, Chef? Hi, Moosey. Yeah, you know what I need? Where are you going, Chef? You're off camera. Oh, you're back. Where'd you go? You need to get your finest... Flipper? Fish flipper. So you want to do here? Look at how beautiful that is. Flip it over. Flip it over. Flip, flip, flip it over. Now you take it. Here's your look at that. Look at the perch. It's probably one of the healthier uh, recipes we've cooked on the show. Folks, that is right there. That is Lake of the Woods perch. Now, for whatever reason, <clears throat> really not sure what that reason is. We're just cooking the sauce down so it gets thick, okay? Nice and thick. Yeah, now you just want to find dice some. Uh, for whatever reason, like I was saying two minutes ago, not 100% sure why. Got a frog in your throat there, Chef? Thank you. Okay, so there's the uh, cilantro that's going to go on top to finish it off. Then you're going to take some scallions. 100% sure why people will not try. Or find yellow perch. Right. So just uh, you know, slice these up nicely. This is just going to be added as a garnish, just some extra flavor. Nothing wrong with a little extra flavor, right? Can't get enough. Beautiful. Now we're going to take some of this. Uh, Some of this right here. Oh! How's that look, Tom? Beautiful, Chef. There it is, folks. A local potato acorn honey with stewed tomato hash. Hash tomato. Don't know where the hash comes hash from. That is a stew. With local Lake of the Woods yellow perch. Local. I'm proud that we use all the underutilized, undervalued, unappreciated species. Topped with, we actually stewed the uh, perch right inside that cream sauce, right? But we steamed it. Steamed it with uh, peppers, onions, zucchini, mushrooms and tomatoes absolutely beautiful it's comfort food it's com it, it's that speaks fall doesn't it the that's a beautiful fall, fall dish that is a beautiful way to eat uh and now you just want to finish it off with a little of the sauce now that the sauce is thickened up a bit just throw it right over top beautiful yellow perch till the next
time. Bye-bye.